Hey guys, it's you got Coco J. Oh, let me say, I'm Coco J, and I'm a YouTuber based in the United Kingdom, or shall I say, I'm based here in the UK. So yeah, this is my face. In case you don't know who is talking, uh, yeah. So uh, basically, yeah. I've been meaning to talk to you guys about some few things, but because I've been so busy, so I haven't had so much time to myself and to talk to you guys, so I decided that I'm going to just do everything today. So hey guys, it's still me, so uh, I'm just going to freestyle, you know, how we do here in the United Kingdom, you know. I'm going to be talking about UK culture shock. I mean, they have lots and lots and lots of it, but I'm just going to be talking about a few ones that I have experienced. And the good part is that we Nigerians, we tend to adapt easily in whichever country we find ourselves. That's the that's one key thing that I know we, or let me just say basically Africans in general, we just have this um, rugged body or we have this, we, we should we just, we just take things in quickly and we, we move on from you know situation or challenges quickly number one is here in uk you have to get ready to apologize for every goddamn thing because here they apologize for everything every little thing and that's that's because most of them are, are built to um, be polite you see that's for everything they, they you know they they have this courtesy they are so polite oh sorry thank you please uh and they say this i mean when i first got here um i used to i used to i mean for the first few weeks whenever i go out or to the store they'd be like are you all right are you okay and i'm like i'm fine why do they say are you all right are you okay every goddamn time but here it's just a numb and you know back in nigeria when you say are you okay it means that you are not mentally fine you're not mentally okay so it's just strange you know every now and then or anywhere you go to be like are you all right are you okay so you get stuff like that so that's just part of them they take it every day i mean like in a day they can take it up to like if i'm not gonna exaggerate they take it up to like five times in a day they take tea every time and i call and number three no one talks about their feelings here everyone on their own i mean there's an awkward feeling that comes with you saying how you feel here you you, you don't just say how you feel anyhow because i mean if you I mean, if it happens to be i think you need to back it up with some stuff because you can't just talk anyhow here you know in a country where there is law you have to be very careful with what you say and what you do here number four there is no ac or ceiling fan here they don't have ac they don't have ceiling fans whatnot i don't know maybe for some reasons i don't know but i haven't seen that here ever since i've been coming here and I mean, I've asked a couple of people, they said you don't have it here. You can have like a mini fan, maybe during summer, but you can't see a ceiling fan or a, um, or AC rather, sorry. Number five, their tap water is their drinking water. I mean, you can decide that you want to get um, bottled water to yourself, but it's not, it's not common in most homes they take tap water don't go and try it in nigeria <laughs> where some people also take tap water back in nigeria but i mean like here it's just like a a very or let me just say it's because it's safe to take tap water here it's very safe so most people take tap water and uh, number six students uses um bicycle and um subways I mean, I think it's because it's cheaper and um, convenient for them. But most students use bicycles and subways, except for those who are um, the rich kid kind of person or kind of kid that uses car. So 
but all the ones that I've been seeing, they use bicycle and sub and subways. Another thing is the weather. Yeah, the weather can be so so confusing. Sometimes you might be stepping out thinking that oh it's sunny, don't let me take umbrella. You know I don't need an umbrella. But then you step out in a mini and it's raining again, and then you're like what? Like it's just so confusing. So it's just best to be prepared for the weather, whether you're going out or you're inside just make sure that you are well prepared and then sometimes i think here it's uh, it's more of the rainy days than um, the sunny days according to the weather if you think that you understand english or you can understand how british people talk or the speak my dear you haven't met a scottish person <laughs> oh my god you literally wouldn't understand what you're saying <laughs> and i'm like <sighs> the same way we have different languages in nigeria is the same here as well it's not like it's it's english just speaking but the accent the intonation is so different so so different if you think you understand english my friend go and meet a scottish person or go and meet another person entirely that is not not the regular british accent whatsoever the queue for anything here you want to withdraw money you queue you want to buy food you queue you want to everything is queuing but in orderliness not like nigeria where we say you know if you know somebody can keep your space in that queue please auntie i'm behind you i'll go and do something before you know it, it gets to my turn and then i come back again it's not like that here no everything is in order you're not gonna find a switch in the bathroom or toilet basically because when you have a switch in the toilet because of the voltage is high um and you know maybe you're coming out of the shower and you have to switch off the lights or probably you have water in your hand and you have to switch off the light people get shocked i don't know according to what i was told and what i read online so they had to put like a rope that dangles it dangles down and then you just like pull it to switch on on switch off the light which is so easy and so convenient right so you have to touch a switch or whatsoever or whatnot. Yeah. So I have a lot of uh, a lot of um, um, culture shock that I still want to talk about, but I'm gonna stop here. So bye. Mm -hmm.